Right, mail bag time again. Big box here, not sure what's in that yet. Let's see what's in here. I think I know what's in here. Some people will be excited about that. Just some people. Oh, some more headers. Right angled, jaw and line. Of two different sizes, interestingly. So I can cut those down to size, and also got some of these smaller ones, which are 8 pin. Not sure I've got the 8 pin ones. Must be a reason for it. The Chinese see like using clean film and everything. So these are some edge connectors. How many pins is this? Does it stay on the side? No numbering I can see. Right. 2, 4, 11. 22 pin? Really? 22? Hmm. Is it all the same size? Nope. You've got some smaller ones there. These are the next ones down. 20 pin. Yeah, I've got a whole bunch of different ones here. Different sizes. This one's a long one. So yeah, I remember that now. So I've got a whole bunch of different sizes of these edge connectors. And we've got some smaller ones here as well. And the whole range. Right down to 2 pins. Yep, I've got basically, I think every size. Again, because I think I said this in the last mailbag because I've got some other ones at the time. If you're doing projects or you're doing repairs and things, sometimes you need to replace a voltage connector or something like that, or you want to actually try a design out and do testing, and you can't really dummy it up without soldering wires straight into the PCB and stuff like that. But if you have edge connectors, you can just dummy it up onto a, a, a test board or something like that, you know, you need to plug it in and out. But uh, yeah, again, I didn't have any of these, so I thought I'd stock up on them. For some reason I decided to get some because I didn't have any. Now I do. There are links down below for these things too, don't forget that. There always are links for things I can give you links for. <laughs> Here's some more boardage connectors. That's quite a long one, look at that. Excellent. Lots of different sizes. These are very much like the ones I, I showed in the previous mailbag. Oh, look at that one. Massive. I'm not sure any pins this one is, doesn't say. But uh, jaw in line, obviously. Jaw pin. And I'll select them. I've already got some of these which I showed in the last mailbag. Exactly the same style, same brand. And yeah, these ones you can bolt onto a surface or PCB mount. And I think I've got a mixture actually. I've got this is wired on. That's wired on, I don't know, that's a PCB mount. I might have just got a selection of just maybe I might possibly need. So, yeah, I, I think I've got enough now. I never go overboard. Ever. Mm -hmm. That's not my wife. <laughs> Alright, next thing. Element 14 thing. Again, recycle packaging. Love that. Hate the bubble wrap. This is much better. Ah, more capacitors. Fred will be happy. And probably a few other people too. That's got electrolytics. Actual electrolytics. What have we got here? 15 microfarad, 16 volt. 3.3 uh, microfarad, 63 volt. We've got some poly or well, film caps. 0 0.022 microfarad 630 volt 0 0.047 630 volt got some actual electrolytics 2200 microfarad 16 volt and a polyester 0 0.022 microfarad 630 volt so again I'm stocking up on film caps because I just don't really have many and I don't actually have a wide range of values I've got loads of electrolytics but here. Loads of electrolytics all across here. These are radial caps, these are axial caps each side. So I'm pretty well covered with these. I actually have some which I don't even have these drawers because they're too big to fit. I've got some in parts bins up there as well. Um, so those are really well covered. Don't have every value but I've got most of them. And I want to do the same kind of thing with these film caps as well because I realised recently I was doing a project I needed to have some film caps and I didn't actually have all the ones I needed. And that prompted me to buy some more caps. Big box. I think I know what's in here. Oh, that's 
those labels don't cut through. <laughs> yeah, that's it, I'm going to use a raw knife. Ouch. How did I know that was going to happen? Oh, I wasn't even using a knife and I hurt myself. Liquid electrical tape, excellent. I've got one already up here, but it's, I don't know, I've had it sitting on a, sh on a shelf too long or something. I think I stocked up and I got a couple of tubes at once, and it took so long to use the first tube, the second tube started going off. So this one's quite luggy, it's not really flowing out nicely like it should do. It's something I use quite a bit of, and it's nice to have one which actually works properly. Parts rules. So I've got two lots of parts rules. These are the ones I get from J Car Electronics um, in New Zealand, also in Australia. You can get them there, I think, as well. Same ones. But these ones I use, and I always get them from J Cars because I like these drawers. They look quite nice, and they're, they're quite a good design. As you can see, the same ones I've got in the background here for my capacitors. And part of the reason I like them is that the actual stops for the drawers are actually on the sides, so they're right here at the corners, not in the middle. So it doesn't have a rail that goes across with a big lump in the middle to stop the drawers falling out. It's got them on the, on the corners instead, which means the drawers have less restrictions getting things in and out of there. Don't catch on things as much. And that's much better because it means you can put more in the drawers. You can utilise them better. Also got a couple of rolls of tape. I was getting a bit low on tape, so black and white. White I get because it's good for writing on if you want to label things. You can wrap it around the wire and, and just write on it with a pen, and you've got a labelled connection. Um, and the black, because you know, black, you always use black. I've got these because of getting these. Because I'm stocking up on these capacitors and these film caps, I don't actually have enough storage for them. In fact, it's not quite true. I've actually got three of these up there on the shelf for spares, but that's beside the point. I always need more storage. I don't know where I'm going to put them, but I've got more storage. Our house is too small. So if you wanted that, I'm recording. Now I'm recording. No smart comments now? Now I'm recording? <laughs> Our house is too small or your hobby is too big. Pick one. Check out links down below. Subscribe over there. Patreon spawning cover there if I need to buy more parts drawers so I can fill my house up with them.